tonight. From Soldier Field in Chicago, it's the NFC Championship game. some memorable playoff games over the years and these Bear fans are hoping to make some new memories today at Soldier Field in Chicago. Coming up, it's a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl and we've got a classic in store between the Arizona Cardinals and the Chicago Bears. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. Two teams fighting for one berth in Super Bowl 55 in Tampa. Let's do it. It's NFC Championship time. This taken in about four yards deep. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by their 6-4 quarterback. And we can talk all we want about football being a team game and leaning on different parts and aspects in order to get it done. And that's entirely true during the regular season. Some weeks it's the defense, the special teams running the football. But in the playoffs, all the pressure reverts to the quarterback. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And the Cardinals have got it going the other way. And they bring this one back. A scoop and score, a fumble recovery touchdown for Arizona. In a game of this magnitude, it's always good to get out to a great start. But a game of this magnitude, you go up early, that's a big deal. It's a huge deal. Psychologically, you now have the advantage as well as on the scoreboard. And also, it's a settling effect for your team. You're in it now. You've got the lead. Let's just go play some more ball. And the Cardinals will go up 7 to nothing. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Takes this about five yards deep. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And that last possession, really a gut punch. You seemingly had it working. You were in the midst of a very strong drive. Then suddenly the fumble, and you're watching the back of a defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in the other direction. There's not much more I can add to that. I thought you summarized it perfectly, partner. You've just got to regroup and start putting another drive together. That's all you can do. And from the 25, they work this to the 29. A gain of four. Hooker. A gain of four. On second down, it's Ingram. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. It's a gain of two. Brady going to try and throw on third down. And he's got his man. That's Landry. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His first catch in this NFC Championship game, and it's a first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Brady now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. 
Brady again here on second and ten. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Levante David making his presence felt in the backfield. So if we recount real quick, he had the touchdown earlier, and now he comes up with the sack here. No doubt about it, he's having himself a game. The cards going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Now a play fake. Brady. And that will be incomplete. Well, they've moved the ball okay here in these first two drives, but this one's going to, again, amount to nothing. They've got to start dialing up some plays that allow them to finish drives with points. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and the Cards will take over first and 10. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They will be led out by the Heisman Trophy winner from 2018 from Oklahoma, Baker Mayfield. It's okay if I give him a few props right here. Do you mind? I think he's earned it. Go ahead. Okay, how about a guy who was a two-time walk-on, who later became a two-time Big 12 Player of the Year, has the most touchdown passes in Big 12 history with 129. A Heisman Trophy into his credit. And took his team to the college football playoff semifinal twice while at Oklahoma. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. The tackle made at the 36-yard line. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Trying to get it to Willie Sneed there. And it's third and five. Chris Harris on the cover. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That'd be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Just a net of 34 there, following a punt of 44 yards. And the Bears take over. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. They'll need to come from behind if they want to play in two weeks as they trail early in this NFC Championship game. They'll run with Ingram here to begin the drive. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. He was brought down at the 28-yard line. One-yard gain brings up second and nine. On play action, now Brady. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And it's knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there. And that'll make it third down. Marcus Peters on the coverage. From the gun, it's Brady. He finds Beckham complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. His first catch in this NFC Championship game, and it's a first down. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Phillip Lindsay. Levante David in on the tackle. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Brady's throw there complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 41-yard line. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. On first and 10, here's Brady. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, 
What's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz. And even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. On second down, Ingram. Only two yards on the pickup there, and now they're looking at a long third down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Bilal Nichols drops him for a loss of 12, and it also brings up fourth down. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. 42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Cards are going to have the football with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the gun, Mayfield. And he'll find Gibson here complete. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. The loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. He steps out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Looking to throw again on second down. Mayfield, it's brought in here by Willie Sneed. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. His first catch in this NFC Championship game, and it's a first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Incomplete. It leads to second and ten. On second down, Mayfield again. And he's got the hook up here. It's Kyle Rudolph. Mayfield's pass. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Seven, is nothing. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Going to the air again with Mayfield. And he's got Kyle Rudolph. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down, and he's going to have it by plenty, able to get eight yards there on third and two. And this is good for a first down, his second grab of this NFC Championship bout. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. On first and 10, Mayfield. The left side caught by Diggs. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the Bears' 49-yard line. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Wide receiver, the ball carrier. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to him. That doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down. A nice, consistent game. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. And Rudolph has it, the tight end. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Brings up third down. On 
third down. It's Gibson. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. They had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short, definitely was a great time to dial one up. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll try the left side. Gibson. The pro bowler, Chris Harris, is in on the tackle. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. A gain of five brings up second and five. Now Baker going to keep this himself. Down right around the 25. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. It's a gain of a yard. And it's now Mayfield. And he'll get this to Antonio Gibson complete. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. They'll try the field goal now with Graham Gano. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and the lead moves to 10-zip. Makes the score Cardinals 10, Bears nothing. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. It's not like you're going negative on them. I was. Partner. I was. It sounds, like, it sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. The spotlight now focuses on the quarterback, and that's Tom Brady. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it struggles. And Normally what you get is renewed determination. When, when, when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground. But that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the pro bowler, Marcus Peters. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game, and now this time an interception return for another score. Gano for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. And they always tell you, don't press. You'll make things a little bit worse. But in this particular situation, you try and heighten your play a little bit. So far, he's thrown one interception. He wants to balance that off with at least one touchdown pass in order to get his team back moving forward. 
Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. No gain on the play. Second and 10 at the 25-yard line. So that'll back him up five. Still second down. And now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. Shotgun now for Brady. Looking left side, that's caught by Landry. Brady's pass. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. It's now third and three. Now Brady. Complete the tight end Kelsey and out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. That third down conversion good for 23. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll run here with Lindsey. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Back to the ground, this time with Ingram. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. From the gun on third down, Brady. And it's complete to Kelsey. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. Two minutes remain in the first half of this NFC championship. Took nearly the entire first half, but a first red zone opportunity for him here. It's first and 10 at the 14. From the gun, Brady looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Ingram. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Well, they try to swing it out left into the flat. Complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. Well, this has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and four. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. And it's caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Now we have Kelsey slow to get back to his feet. Appears to be shaken up. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. This defense is really thrown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense going to have to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. It's 
So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Now Brady doesn't like the formation here. He'll take a timeout as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. On second and goal, Brady. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. George Kittle there to make the grab. And the Bears get a bit closer. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, full half to be played. And he'll bang that one through. So that one along 11 play drive. And the end result is a Bears touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This one fielded at the five. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 24 yards. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there. That can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. A first down throw for Mayfield. Oh, that was dangerous. Threw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. And Rudolph has it left side. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 16. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. For Mercedes Lewis. Brings up second and ten. Throwing again, Mayfield on second and ten. He'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag. But you caused... Now Mayfield lost the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. He's at the 50. The 30. Past the 20. And they bring this one back. A fumble return for a Bears touchdown. A linebacker showing he can move pretty good with a football in his hand. That's not just a short shuttle now. He took it and went a pretty good distance, didn't he? Did you get the 40 time on that? <laughs> I didn't, but he got six points out of it. I know that and a great play for that defensive unit. Now gold for the extra point. This is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. 
And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. And, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now, hotly contested in the third quarter. All right, Brandon, thanks. As always, what half remains in the battle to see who will take home that George Hallis trophy and represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's look back to the AFC Championship game held earlier today. And it is the Las Vegas Raiders who are heading to the Super Bowl as they await the winner of this NFC Championship game. So with that, let's get you right back out for the second half as one of these teams will represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. To find out who, let's turn it back over to Brandon Godden. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. The Hallis Trophy still hangs in the balance as the second half now underway in the NFC Championship game. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. First and 10 at their own 31. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. They'll run on first down. It's Gibson. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. The tackle made at the 47-yard line. A gain of four. It's now second and six. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 42. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. He gets it forward for four, maybe five, but the flags fly. And this one could be coming back. So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. <laughs> Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. Oh, and after the sack, he's still down on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Chris Harris speeds in for the sack on the corner blitz. Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool the defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, uh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And he's going to go down again. Caleb on chase on. That's now back-to-back -back sacks, and it brings up fourth down. That's be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he'll kick it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. 
The spotlight now focuses on the quarterback, and that's Tom Brady. He's playing pretty well. I don't think it's necessarily him changing up something he's doing, but that old line, they've got to protect him better. They do. They've got to make sure that they give him more than enough time in order to find targets downfield. And sometimes what happens when these things are going on is that the, the field general will step up and say, hey, that's on me, guys. I didn't get rid of it fast enough. Anything to try and relax them a little bit and take some pressure off, because they do know that they are trying. Yeah, well, we've seen the four sacks so far in this contest. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Now Brady. To the right side, and he's got Landry complete. We call it a pickup of seven, and it'll bring up a second and 13. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he's on to punt for Chicago. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. The football going back over to Arizona now. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us? To... And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Christian Jones, the blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. I like how they've started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Mayfield, and just not a ton of room to work with. He'll get it to the 15 for a gain of two. One you know thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Third and long for Mayfield. Terrell Suggs in there to get him. That is the sixth time that they have sacked him tonight. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Here's Jamie Gillendale as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he'll just punch it out of there, and it's not a great kick. A very good punt, but a 16-yard return. And it'll be a short field for the Bears as they take over first and 10. The Chicago offense set to get started. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. They want pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. 
They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Vaughn Miller, he's the culprit, dropping him for a two-yard loss. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. Now, following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Another try after the first down sack. Brady, and he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away, and now it's third. Makes it third down and 12 yards to go. Throwing is Brady on third down, and inside the 20 before he's brought down. And this is good for a first down, his second grab of this NFC Championship bout. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Out of the gun, they give to Ingram. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. They've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Bears have taken the lead. Well, they weren't messing around. First and goal, they don't do anything fancy. They just go to the fullback right away. I like how you phrase that because oftentimes they come back to the fullback when it's late in the down and distance count, right? In this case, first down, let's go get it right now. And he got it six points on the board. Goal to add the extra point. It's up and good to make it 21-17. Five plays there on that drive. And it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Cardinals take over first and 10. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. One quarter remains for the right to go on to the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, Mayfield. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Darnell Mooney, the target there. But it'll be second down. It's second down and 10. This is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 45-yard line. 
And that one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack. Back at the 47-yard line. Khalil Mack bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle another try after the first down sack Mayfield and this will be caught by Mooney and that'll be good for eight yards to the 45 an important play right here third and ten and I would expect pressure here on third down Mayfield and that is incomplete Mayfield's pass is intended for Stephon Diggs. Incomplete. Well, that plays a statistic that's going to go on the defensive team stat sheet. Won't necessarily reflect in ours, right, the overall game sheet. But you and I know that they keep count on pressures, hits on quarterbacks, all those things, hoping to increase that throughout the game. And here we are in the fourth quarter, and they got a big one. Yeah, it's such a close game, a very big one. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. And now back out comes the offense. And right now they're just looking for a little more cushion, trying to make this a two-score game. Points here would go a long way, obviously, to propelling them into the next round. And this is where the head coach, offense coordinator, they've had to set a tone all year long about what they do on offense. So most teams want to stay in attack mode. But you have to do it with some bit of caution, don't you? Because you can't come away with no points. You need these points here in order to feel a lot better about where they are in this game. But this time of the year, playoffs, game of this magnitude, this is what we hope for. Yeah, it's exactly what we hope for. You want to run your offense cautiously, but not so cautiously that you just give it up. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Good work after the catch, going to net him 23 and a first. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Brady now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Brady. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. The Bears on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This is third and eight. Again, it's Brady. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. That's good. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 46. On play action, it's Brady. This one brought in by Jefferson. And he 
Starts it past the 30, almost to the 25. The Bears on the move. They've got another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. This is Ingram on first and 10. And down inside the 15 he goes. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They run. It's Mark Ingram. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 14-yard line. Looking to throw on second down. Brady completes it to the tight end, Kittle. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. From the gun, it's Brady. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Incomplete. Out of the end zone. Malcolm. So decision time now, because a field goal keeps it a one-score game. What are you thinking? Well, I'm looking at the down and distance, and that's where the issue comes in. It's not short enough that it's a no-brainer and you go for it. You have to analyze this one. To me, you take the field goal, take the points. I don't think you want to risk coming away with nothing. 25-yard attempt. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And how about this? It's complete. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. So out now come the Cardinals. And they are in need of points here, no doubt about that. With a Super Bowl berth on the line and trailing here in the fourth quarter, this possession gigantic. I remember being taught that cliches have become so for a reason. A lot of times they're true, right? What's that they used to tell us about letting sleeping dogs lie? If this one wasn't sleeping, maybe just slumbering a little bit. But taking that gamble there, you got the lead. You may have ignited them now they stopped you. That's exactly right. If you take the points here, you don't shift momentum necessarily on that play. You probably just did. Now this throw caught left side. And they work this out past the 25. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, I think we got evidence right now that this team's not going to be daunted at all. Just because they're backed up doesn't mean they're not going to continue to throw the football. They threw an incompletion on first down, but they came right back on second down and threw it again. And this time they hit it for not just good yardage, but a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Mayfield looks to throw. And Rudolph has it, the tight end. Mayfield's pass. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Three yards the gain there, second down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Throwing again on second down. Mayfield. And yeah, this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And Xavier Rhodes on the coverage. He's back to throw. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. And we're going to get a 
stoppage. There appears to be an injured bear on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. A 10th carry here for Mark Ingram. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Again, they'll run with Ingram. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Now the card's going to call another timeout. They're second as he'll talk it over here before what'll be an important third down. They'll try and run for it with Lindsey. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they'll indeed take a knee. Second and 11. An option run with Ingram. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount. And he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. They will take a knee here and cue the celebrations. They are off to the Super Bowl. Bears field goal, a 37-yard attempt. This was the goal before they started the season, to play in a Super Bowl, and that's exactly what they're going to do. And this is why songs are written about teams. Okay, you go back, some teams wrote them earlier in the season about their goal of getting to the Super Bowl. This one, they're going to be able to break it out now because their goal was to get there, and they achieved it. How about that? That's pretty fantastic. And that'll close the books on the conference championship. For Charles Davis, myself, Brandon Gordon, and our entire crew, we'll talk to you in two weeks from the Super Bowl.